Hello everybody, Joe Bagdones here. Welcome back to another episode of Umineko. Uh, wind is a little at my sails at the moment. Uh, that's because yesterday, well, I suppose at this point, it was two days ago now, uh, episode 10 went up where, uh, for some reason, there is no mic audio track for me. Oh, ah, stupid. Nope, I, I don't need the OP. Thank you, game. Uh, what was this saying? L let me just click on this menu so it doesn't do that. <clears throat> uh, so, how I'm pretty sure that happened was when I uh, get my raw like mp4 file from OBS if I upload that directly I'll have no mic audio that's because the two audio tracks are separate for the mic and the game output and in order to mush them together I got to go into my video uh, editing software of choice that I totally legally paid for Adobe Premiere and uh, put it in there, and then I'll export it and merge the two audio tracks together. Now, I did that because that's the only that's the only part of my process when I rename the uh, the video file from just the generic OBS like date and time video file name, like when it's when I hit stop recording, to like the Umineko questions arc part X whatever. So I don't know if. For some reason, I hit mute on my audio track uh, in in Premiere, or if Premiere just fucked up and just said "fuck you," you're not getting your audio track this time, and just exported it with uh, just the game audio. And unfortunately, normally this wouldn't be a big deal because I would just go into the OBS recording folder and uh, just take it out and redo it again. But uh, turns out like a three days before the video went up was my monthly uh, clean out that folder. Otherwise, you know, it gets bloated and I end up with a folder on my hard drive that's like 70 gigabytes. So, uh, yeah, that was gone. It wasn't in the recycling bin because video file was too big. So the computer's just like, hey, too big to go in the recycling bin. Do you want to just leave it on my cache or whatever? I already got my, my YouTube video. I don't need it anymore. So it was gone, gone. Even downloaded uh, file recovery software. I've tried to pull it out from the abyss. Uh, no dice, though I did get some random Muvlov videos from, like, the day after, and, like, Total Eclipse Part 7. <laughs> some, some wacky shit was in there. But, you know, it is what it is. Shame, too, because that was a long video. Kind of, kind of butthurt about that. Also, just started, uh, started going back to work again. That sucks. You know, actually having to work? to get a paycheck instead of just sit around and collect it because I'm salaried after, like, my three months of vacation. Painful. Real painful. Anyway, uh, the tea party. What the fuck is this? Please pull up a seat and wind down. Was your sojourn on Rokunjima a pleasant one? The Golden Witch has gifted you with an invitation to her tea party. I hope that you'll participate. Depending on how long this is, it might be its own, uh, standalone video, or I'll just slap it on to the beginning of, uh, the first part of episode two. Purgatorio! Oh, great, we're in Purgatory. Lovely. Oh, Mina! Umine Kuro Nakuro ni Otskara san! Uh, they tell you that you're dead, bud. Yare, yare. Wake ga wakan nai uchi ni monogatari ga wakan nai uchi ni. Almost like we don't have uh, all the pieces. Tsumari, nanda? Are wa kekyoku. Uh, basically. Well, for Maria's viewpoint, it was just, you know, it was the good end, because Beatrice won. So, that's it. One night ago, when Maria was reading the Beatrice's letter, she was able to read the letter to the letter. Yeah. We were able to read the letter to the letter to the letter. Pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable thing to do. What is this tiger dojo that we got 
あ、いや、しがたんドリ。切れどころの yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone died and uh, somehow fucking Maria's job got disconnected. Gross! I just woke up. It's like 7 in the morning, which I got off at midnight, so... I only slept a little bit, you know. Six to seven hours is what I consider a, just a little bit of sleep. Oh yeah. He kind of flat on his face at the end, but... You know, we would have been able to see that and talk about it, you know, if, uh... If, you know, my, my video didn't get fucked up. At least I think that was episode 10. It might have been episode 11. Kanan kun no shi wa oki na hint ni natta to mou na. Datte, ano se de 19 min me no sonzai ga Undeniable proof. So da ne. Ano jiten de wa From our, I was gonna say omniscient view as the narrator, but it's not entirely omniscient. Da kara Kanan kun wo koro seru no wa Omniscient. Michi no 19 min me shika ari enai. Oh, Maria wa saisho kara Beatrice da te zutto itte some things are hard to swallow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, turning into golden butterflies is a... Uh, it's, it's a pretty tricky one for a normal person. Yeah, there's shenanigans of what? Gotta, gotta think a little outside the box with these, uh, with these mysteries. Yeah, Which, uh, makes it a little tricky. Because, what is it? Who, who codified, like, the, the keys to, like, writing a good mystery story? And, like, one of them is, uh... Well, it, it was written in like the Victorian era, so one of the one of the keys is like no mysterious Chinaman allowed, which basically uh, was what I'm saying. You can't just have some character come in and do magic willy nilly and be like something completely outside the reader's, uh, you know, the reader's like reasonable ability to to guess. You can't just say a wizard did it. But, you know, it's, it's not required to make a good story. Yeah, so generous that she fucking ripped your jaw Yeah, she basically fucking sent her text that, hey, you're cool, don't go to Rope and Jima tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Probably she just mean. And yeah, getting your fucking face turned into tomato paste with like a brick or something's pretty rough. She had improved this by stroking her cheek, which has been crushed during the story, and everyone laughed out loud, smiling. 
僕はてっきり本格ミステリーだと思ってたからね。ファンタジーだと分かって、ちょっと驚いてるよ。遺産をめぐる外界から隔絶された孤島の洋館者なんて、推理者の王道だと思ってたからさ。ファンタジーじゃないベアトリーチェはいるの Yes! ええ、分かっています。ベアトリーチェ様は。いらっしゃいます、uh-huh. そうですねベアトリーチェ様はいらっしゃいます Stop, Stop、like、悔しいが認めざるを得ねえよな19人目の魔女の関与は明らかだしな、mm-hmm. 人間には不可能なことをいくつもやってのけてる劇中の僕らはそれを否定したくてあれこれと考えたけれども今ならはっきり言えるよどれもいずれもすべて人間には不可能な犯罪だった。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あ You know, better late than never. So, God, those chairs look unbelievably comfortable. The arms are at like a 45 degree angle? Ugh. And there's like no. Like the actual seat part's really short. I like to like sit back in my chairs. ねえさんの言う通りだと思いますじゃあさせっかく殺人事件ごっこは終わったわけだしここで気を取り直してちゃんとベアトリーチェの言う通り、sure. 自分の謎に挑戦してみるか、like、賛成きっとベアトリーチェも喜ぶ<笑>ちょっとベアトリーチェも喜ぶ劇中ではみんな無視してたからねあのほとんど無視されてなんだかかわいそうですねベアトリーチェ様希望のメモがあるみんなで謎解きみんなで謎解き、sure. 物語は多分この時点から間違ってたんだろうねそうかもしれません私たちはベアトリーチェ様のご指示通り自分の謎に挑むべきだったのかもしれない。Well, there like five episodes,、uh, I'm gonna say just trying that isn't gonna, isn't gonna cut it. まあ、しっかり遅くなっちまったけどな。今からでも再挑戦するってことで、魔女様には許してもらおうぜ。さっさ、自分の謎に挑戦してみよう。何々懐かしき故郷を貫くアユの皮。As Maria put her notebook on the table and opened to the page where the epitaph was written, everybody peered at it closely and had a fun and lively discussion as they started guessing this and that about the riddle. Surrounded by the smell of the black tea and the freshly baked vanilla cookies, they spent the time comfortably and happily. <laughs> Butler said in a tone that ruined the mood. His expression looked a little unhappy. What could he not like about all this fun? What do you mean? With just those words, the happy atmosphere of the tea party disappeared in no time at all. George and Jessica, and Shannon and Cannon, and Maria, all of them stared blankly. I wonder why Battler was saying such weird things. Even the foolish and arrogant Battler noticed he had said the wrong thing. That's the. Yeah, it's. If it's a witch, if a witch did it, you know, uh, you know. Oh well, couldn't have done anything about it. It's easier to accept that way. So. So. Just throw your hands up. Don't know, you can't do it. Hello,、uh, Grindsoft Anti Malware. Thank you for showing up on my screen there. Goodbye. I know I need to update it. 
そうですよねだって人間じゃ説明がつかないことばかりじゃないですか I mean, from our perspective. バトラ様が何を言い出すのか僕にはわかりません You could say like going to a magic show and seeing an illusionist, you know, is something that wouldn't be possible for a human to do from your perspective. Oh, you just ro rolling over and accepting it. Well, how much do you remember? You think you can,、uh, you can elucidate us on、uh, some details? I mean, I don't know how to do it. 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 そんな電動工具でも使ったのかもしれねえじゃないかそうそれはそれじゃあバトラーじい様が密室の書斎から消え去っていたのはどう説明するんだよ I mean, we still never completely disprove the theory of him just fucking hiding under the bed and then leaving later 扉は封印されていたのにじい様は突然と消え去ってたぜその話は劇中でも出ただろう、yeah. じいさまが何らかの方法を使えばレシートをごまかすことは不可能じゃないあるいは窓から出てあるいは落ちて夏日おばさんが窓を内側から施錠した可能性もある別に魔法を使わなくたって他にもいくつか手は思いつくだろうぜそそれはそうだけどよなら僕の母さんたちが客室の中で殺されていたのはどう説明するんだい扉には鍵もチェーンもかかってた。I mean, to get past the chain, all you really need is like a clothes hanger to like hook onto it and then you can just unlatch it. 無論、窓もね。どうやって人間に母さんたちを殺せたって言うんだいまあ、確かに。そのトリックは劇中でも保留になったままだったな。とにかく。犯人は鍵だけは持ってる可能性が高いからな。Doesn't get you past the, the chain on the door, though. チェーンに許される程度の扉の隙間は確保できたわけだ。<笑>非常に苦しい話だが、その隙間から何かの仕掛けを施した可能性はあり得るな。Just like a spear gun, just took. いや、あるいはその隙間から何かを出したとか。<笑>うーん、確かにチェーンってのは。えらいシンプルだが。It's the simplicity that's the issue. You know, there's, there's not, you know, a bajillion factors going into it. You know, it's just one and done. ミスト r i c なんて、もうよそやり尽くされてるんだ。そこいらの書店でミスミステリーを数冊買ってくりゃ、どうせビンゴなトリックが見つかるだろうぜ。<笑>とにかく、俺には思いつかねえが、どうにかやりくりすりゃ。Yeah. 人間にできないことはないだろうって断言できるそれはひどい暴論じゃないかい、eh, really. just, it, 説明できないのに人間に可能だと断言できるなんてめちゃめちゃだよな何がどうめちゃめちゃなんだよ I mean, I do so, you know, did, say, oh, 兄貴たちは何を思考停止してんだよ兄貴たちは何を思考停止してんだよ兄貴たちは何を一見できなさそうに見えてるどうせできるんだよ。俺がお約束ってもんだろうが。めちゃめちゃなのはバトラの方だぜ。人間にできるってんなら説明してみろよ。できねえだろできなきゃすぐに犯人が魔女ってことで落ち着くのかよ。Yeah. その論法で言っちまったら、世界中の未解決事件は全部魔女が犯人ってことで決着しちまう。バトラは問題をすり替えてるし、何も説明してない。Look, my guy's stupid, and I get that because I'm stupid too. マリアたちは人間にはできない。It's, it's vibe, だから人間じゃない存在が犯人。それが魔女だとそう言っている。
なのにバトラは説明できないけど魔女はありえないとか一方的な決めつけで言ってる<笑>まるで無知な時代の人類のようだね地球が回ってるはずがない説明はできないけど宇宙が地球を中心に回ってるんだと言い張る愚か者のような,なんだか気に入らねえ論法だがつまりお前らはこう言いたいのか人間に可能だと説明できないならベアトリーチェであることを受け入れろってことかそこまで押し付けているわけではありませんただバトラ様が何を根拠にそのような弱い事を言い出すのかと思いましてよ弱い事って<笑>な,なあ俺ってさっきからそんなに変なこと言ってるかなあ、nah, おかしいのは俺なのかさっきからえーれん不愉快だぞバトラ様僕は自分が死んだ時ボイラー室へ存在しないはずの19人目に殺されていますそれが人間の仕業だと説明できるのですかあの時18人の所在は全員がはっきりしていましたにもかかわらずその件も劇中で言ってるぜ例えば熊沢のばあちゃんだ Yeah, but we're, we're talking from, you know, an outside perspective here. We know she didn't do it. Kanon kun ga boiler ice ni ori te kara s u g a ato o ta to i t t e r ga. Jitsu wa uso ka mo shire ne. Issho ni boiler ice ni hai te. Fui o tsuite bussuri i t c h i m a t t a no ka mo shire ne. What, in like snuck in front of him? Into the shadows and then stabbed him? Arui wa. Boiler ice ni fumi komu to. Nani ka no trap ga hatsdo s h e レイのアイスピックが打ち込まれるように仕掛けられていたのかもしれない。何しろ、焼却炉からはじいさまの遺体の悪臭だ。必ず誰かがやってくるわけだから、仕掛けだけ施せば、犯人はその場を離れ、カノン君の死亡時刻にアリバイを作ることは十分できる。Okay, fair. ボイラー室のトラップって、どんなのですか I don't know. そうだよ。Bill Slingshot. あの後、すぐみんながボイラー室に駆けつけたでもそんな変な仕掛けは見つけられなかったじゃないかさようですバトラ様どんな仕掛けで僕は殺されたというのですかいやうん、うん、それはわからねえでもとにかく何かの仕掛けをうまくやってたなあるいは誰かが嘘をついてこうも考えられるぜそもそもあれはカノン君の自作自演だったとかな What, he just pretended to get stabbed into the chest and die? そ、そうだ自作自演だ Some pretty good acting. 今おばさんたちも自作自演なんだよ。自分で密室を作り、死んだふりをした。うん。バトラー。Now you're grasping at straws. お前、さっきから頭大丈夫かあの。冷たいお飲み物でもお持ちしましょうかそそこまでアーレミの目で見られるほど妙なことは言ってねえだ、hey, now you're to get into the 俺はあくまでもトリックを考える上での可能性について言っただけだぜそれにほら死者が実は死んでないなんて推理者のお約束じゃねえかよ、yeah. お約束ってつ,、うん、つまりだカノン君が殺された時確かに俺たち全員の所在ははっきりしていた。Yeah, but... <coughs> oh, God, my throat. That's what I get for recording right after waking up. Yeah, you know, you didn't have a, a full head count on, you know, all the bodies. そして、クマサーのばあちゃんも嘘はついてないとする。でも、それは生存者だけの話だ。もし、死んだふりをして犠牲者に混じり、姿をくらましていた犯人が別行動をしていたとしたら、全ては説明できる。Well, you know, Nanjo looked at all the bodies. つまり、エヴァオバさんたちが犯人だと言いたいわけか And at least、uh, the ones in the,、uh, the garden storehouse, they were, they were、uh, you know, getting pretty stiff. So, you know, the pretty impressive one of them was、uh, moving up and about, but、uh, the rest, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a bit of a sell. でも
おばさんたちの死亡については南条先生が医者として判断してるぜそうです南条先生は全ての犠牲者について確認していますもしバトラ様の説を採用するなら南条先生も犯人ということになりますかあ,ああそうだな南条先生が犯人の一味で嘘の死亡宣告をしていたかもしれないと考えた、yeah, 話は変わってくるぜ。You know, I'm, uh, I don't, I don't buy, I'm not buying it. ら、これも推理者のお約束じゃねえかよ。でも南条先生も殺されたよ。と、Yeah, that throws a bit of a wrench into it. それはあったな。そうさ、uh, 南条先生は偽装師なんだ。何しろ、南条先生以外に検視ができるやつはいねえし。あの時はもう混乱してる状況下だ。本当に脈が止まってるかなんて、のんびり確かめてる暇もなかったぜ。この論法なら、死者は誰だって歩き回れたことになる。私たち最初の6人は難しかったんじゃないかと思います。だって、シャッターを閉められた上に、内側からは開けられない、南京錠をかけられちゃいましたし。スクイーズアルフィオイオダそうだぜその鍵は母さんが預かった。じゃあ、母さんも犯人の一味だってのかよ。ああ、いやいや、最初の6人は無理そうだが、エヴァおばさんたちは外から鍵をかけただけだろう。なら、内側から開けられるし。そうさ、俺たちが部屋を出た後、窓から飛び出してボイラー室に先回りしたとか。うーん。苦しいか、yeah. あるいは南條先生も検視を誤ったとかな、oh, man, it's, it's pretty hard to, you know, not be able to properly identify Yeah, there's a dead body that's been dead for a while ほら、自分でも言ってたぜ検視は誤診率が高いとかってうまく偽装したとか身代わりしたよ用意したとかで、like、死をごまかしたとか、like、方法やトリックはこれから考えるとして、えー、とにかくとにかく19人目を否定することはそう難しいことじゃないんだましてや魔女それだけは断じてありえない<笑>バトラがさっきからなんでカタコナにみんなの中に犯人がいるようにしたいのかわかんない<笑>つまりバトラは親族の誰かを疑いたいんだよねそういうわけじゃねえただその。安易に19人目を肯定はできねえし、mm -hmm. 仮にいたとしてもそれは人間だって現地から話を構築すべきであってそれら全部を否定しきった最後の最後で苦し紛れに出てくるのが魔女だろって話をしたいんだ魔女なんているわけないだろなんでさっきからみんなは魔女が犯人ってことで、表情を取ったから、ね。そりゃ、身内に殺人犯がいると思いたくねえ家族はやりっぱさ。でも、それでごまかしちまっていいのかよ。あれだけ大勢を殺した。憎き犯人を見つけ出したいとは思わねえのかよ。あれだけ大勢を殺した。憎き犯人を見つけ出したいとは思わねえのかよ。あれだけ大勢を殺した。憎き犯人を見つけ出したいとは思わねえのかよ。あれだけ大勢を殺した。憎き犯人を見つけ出したいとは思わねえのかよ。あれだけ大シャノンちゃんの仇を見つけたいだろう。One big old vengeance spy. シャノンちゃんだって。自分を殺したのが誰なのか知りたいはずだ。なんでこう、パーンと全面降伏して、魔女が犯人ってことになっちまうんだよ。お前ら、さっきから何なんだ ?The foolish and short tempered battler tried to force his arrogance on the others by yelling at them. However, everyone just looked at him pitying, pitying Lee, silently watching over him. Then the wise Maria laughed and pointed out Battler's mistake for him. <laughs> Man, the narrator here seems to really have,、uh, you know, personal preferences on these characters, huh? Very, very narrator we got. So, what do you think? そう聞くと決まってバトラは今は思いつかないけどとか何かの仕掛けでとか抽象的な言葉で逃げたりお茶を濁したりむしろ知りたいよバトラ
どうしてベアトリーチェを信じないのいるのにどうしていねえからだよ。Yeah. 魔女なんか Which don't exist. い,いるわけがねえ。Like、stubborn child refusing for no reason. The pitying gazes quickly,、uh, quietly blanketed Battler, but they couldn't reach his stubborn heart. まるっきり、だだっこのわがままだぜ。バトラ様、お気持ちはわかりますが。ベアトリーチェ様はいらっしゃるのです。バトラ君、どうして信じないんだいこれほどまでに状況証拠は揃ってるのに。説明できなきゃすべて魔女なんて。俺はそんな論法は認めねえ。どうして電球が明るくなるのか。仕掛けを知らなきゃすべて魔法ってことになるのか。I mean, depending on your definition of magic, then yes, it could literally be magic. 違うだろ魔法じゃなきゃ説明がつかないことなど存在しない。魔女だの魔法だのってのは思考の放棄だ。兄貴たちは。わからねえ事件に屈服して、降参しただけなんだ。Mm -hmm. そうだろ<笑> I mean, you're entirely wrong. やっぱり、バトラだけはどうしても信じないね。誰か一人でも信じなかったら奇跡は起きない。だから、バトラのその猛犬な思い込みを改めさせなきゃ。We'll just have to, you know, do it all over again to test some of those theories. <笑>なるほどな。ようやく一端が見えてきたぜつまりお前らは俺に魔女様は存在するって言わせたいんだろう、right. 全員が認めた嘘は真実になるそういうこったろ<笑>あいにくだなここばかりはあいにくだがそいつは全然ダメだぜ、mm -hmm. お,お前らが俺にそう言われるからこそだからこそ全然ダメなんだふんどう悪いが最後の最後でもう一回チェスマンをひっくり返させてもらうぜ、okay. 魔女の存在を俺に認めさせたいなら一番簡単な方法があるはずさそれは人間にはできないから魔女なんていう遠回しな方法じゃない魔女が魔法でやってみせた、yeah. それを俺に見せるだけの話なんださらにださっきマリアが言ったことが一番墓穴を掘ってる。誰か一人でも信じなかったら、奇跡は起きないってな。真の奇跡は、誰が信じようと信じまいと、勝手に起こる。たとえ俺一人が信じなかったとしてもな。Uh, uh, 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 だからこそ、俺が信じれば成立する奇跡も魔法も、そして魔女も、嘘っぱちだってわけさ。<笑> Alright, now we've, we've been talking about so much, my head's starting to spin. The uneasy mood following Battler's、uh, ignorant rant was thoroughly blown away by a very refreshing and light laugh. Whose laugh? Battler was surprised by that voice, which he had never heard before. When he looked at George and Jessica, at Shannon and Ken and Maria, he noticed that they had suddenly gone respectfully silent. Oh, hi. Beatrice! Yoi. Finally shown up. Hisashibri ni yukai na ningen ni deae ta mono. Oh, oh, my. Dareta. Well, uh, uh. Here's the witch! Manekareta takai no kosto mo shirani ka. Yoi, yoi. こちらのお方は千年を生きる黄金の魔女ベアトリーチェ様にあらせられます、oh, uh, characters? Hey! Beatrice The golden witch was lived for a thousand years She has already surpassed the limit to humans and said that she will appear in response to a human summons just as demons do to lend her power for a price Likes black tea and ice cream Hates boredom and those who deny her existence. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go through everyone that fucking got, got there at the end that we didn't have time to, uh, to read. Battler, missing. 
the fool who spoiled the world where everyone could have been happy. Beatrice is very angry, but for some reason she looks like she's having a lot of fun. Almost like it's almost like he's the first fun new toy she's had in a thousand years. If only this idiot could just hurry up and see you like the rest. George, missing. Even though he was finally reunited with everyone, and they were all getting along so well in the Golden Land, all of the magic was spoiled thanks to a stubborn idiot. Afterwards, he was chewed to the bone by demons and went to hell. Oh! Jessica, missing. Even though she was given a precious invitation to the Golden Land, a single idiot refused to believe in the witch, and all the magic went away. Afterwards, she was chewed to bits by demons and went to hell. Maria, missing. Kee hee 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 hee. You creepy. Are these different? Nope. Still the same. Oh, uh, Natsuhi. Uh, was found shot to death in front of the witch's portrait. How impudent of her to challenge a witch with nothing but a mere gun. Of course she ended up like this. Kee hee hee hee. Uh, did everyone else, uh, oh yeah, I don't think we read the, uh, the last three to die because, you know, we were on a roll. Uh, Nanjo, found in the parlor with a weapon resembling ice pick having been rammed into his thigh and his face smashed. On the seventh twilight, gouged the knee and kill. Uh, found in the parlor, weapon ice pick having been rammed in the stomach and his face smashed, gouged the stomach and kill. And... Masawa, found in the parlor, weapon resembling ice pick having been rammed into her calf and her face smashed. On the eighth twilight, gouged the leg and kill. ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。
Eh, not really foot guy. I mean, if it goes further, I don't mind sucking a toe, but you know, it's it's not my end goal. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just something to get the you know, you know get the ball rolling, you know. It's all give and take. すべてのよし。それでこそ。前年の退屈も紛れるというものだ。ならば聞こう。お前は先ほど。エバたちを殺すのに扉の忍びを見せる。いきなり一番辛いところから切り込んできやがったな。ゴンブレイフォーザスロー。ってことは、このトリックが一番の自信作。I suddenly in the hallway of the mansion. In front of their eyes, a slightly opened door, secured by a chain. Yes, it was the entrance to the room where Ava and Hideyoshi had been killed. Beatrice, I don't think this is weed! Oh God, I think I might have burned my throat last night too when I was smoking. One of, one of the bad things about going back to work is now to start smoking again, you know. Good way to get out of the office to avoid them telling you to do stuff because I'm hiding out in the smoke pit. Man, uh, fucking trick shot. Hmm. And the hinges are on the inside of the room, so you can't just pop those off. Alright. ほう。魔女様ならどうやって見せるってんだよ。え、え、and <laughs> つま先に奇想させていくよ。いや、ビスタイムアウトディナーフォー。俺が降参したらな。だが見てろ。ちょっと俺がこのトリックを暴いて。逆に手目を俺の血に奇させてやるぜ。トスタッフキンサラド。
Asmodeus responded to Beatrice's call. The two demon stakes burst into motion like billiard balls struck by a cue and were sucked into the crack of the door. Then came the sound of them deflecting repeatedly off the walls of the room, making it sound like a woodpecker. I was right, trick shot! And finally, a pleasant sound could be heard. It was a small, satisfying sound, like one heard when someone is chopping firewood and the axe, uh, and the falling axe neatly and easily slices through the wood. I don't want to talk about firewood. I've done that too much in my life. It was the sound of the two stakes burying themselves deep into Ava and Hideyoshi's foreheads. <laughs> uh, not really. It definitely heard two sounds like somebody's forehead being split open. Fowler wasn't permitted to see it, since he was on the other side of the door, but those two had died again, and the second time, they, had, they, had, uh, they lay not an inch apart from where they had lain the first time, with the exact same blood spray as before. <laughs> CGI! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Suddenly, they were no longer in the hall, but seated at the tea party that they had started from. Everybody, everyone up but Battler was sitting meekly, but Cannon was moaning, fresh blood dangling from his mouth. Such bad manners for a tea party. Satan's stake was buried deep in the cannon's chest. <laughs> probably get how that looked at, bud. <laughs> Battler was the only one getting agitated. George, Jessica, Shannon, everyone else was meekly hanging their heads like students being told off by their teacher. Well, what is, is he wrath or wrath, depending on, uh, you know, whatever, uh, whatever reading you want to do of it? <笑>ふざけるな。こんな三本芝居で俺がお前の存在を認める。いや、ノストール、いや、スモークミラーズ。オールイン、イウズオン、イウズオンワイヤーズ。何が千年を生きた魔女だ。てめえのトリックなんだ
Ooh. For the first time in his life, Mattler heard that sound like a pomegranate splitting. Ugh. The red spray even landed on Battler's face. How sad. Shannon's face had been split in half. And her last horrible moments in that storehouse had been repeated once again. <laughs> Shadow! Shadow! <laughs> Gross! So, so. Man, poor Battler. Blood's real hard to get out of like a white suit like that. Oh, how do you die, George? Or are you just gonna get eaten by demons? This time, red patterns began to spread across George's entire body. It was like a, the beautiful cloud drawn by milk once poured into black tea. They slowly spread out and extended across his entire body. As they grew more saturated in color, they seemed to give George increasingly greater pain. Looking at those bizarre patterns, Battler was petrified as he frantically thought with his pitifully clumsy imagination about the nature of the strange death that George and the others had experienced. Before long, Redness reached nearby Jessica as well. <laughs> they probably did something, we'll find out later. Need your inhaler? Yeah, there we go. At least you got someone in your corner. And she can't win. Good line. Room. George was no longer shaped like a person. It looked like a pile of leftover meat after good and delicious meat had been scraped off to the cook. What? To be cooked. Leftover meat after the good and delicious meat. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The only traces left of uh, his time as a human were the shape of his lower jaw and ribcage. Ooh. It was clear that Jessica, who was covered with a steadily strengthening redness, was approaching the same fate. Mm. Nah. And don't be too broken up about it happening to Maria, to be honest. Yeah, but if you don't believe, you know, it's not real. So fuck, what happened to them? That they just got turned into a hamburger meat? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. You're you're a stubborn fucking asshole. Find the real culprit. Sad. Jessica met the same end. Just like George, she ended up like a butcher's leftover. Broken apart, melted, and all mixed up, so you couldn't tell which was George and which was Jessica anymore. Yeah, otherwise you look like a little bitch. The redness began eating into the whole of Maria's body. 
When he saw this, the foolish battler screamed out loud. Good track. Hell yeah, wishes ain't real! Ooh, fucking banger. Banger! Nice, nice, nice. Getting ready for, uh, for episode two. We, uh, we in a time loop here? I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out. Find out next time on the next episode of Human Echo, because, uh, you know, we're almost an hour in, and depending on how long the first chapter is for the uh, episode two, you know, I, I don't want to end up with, like, a two-and-a-half-hour, three-hour video. You know, that's that's good if we're, like, towards the climax of a story, kind of like how I did with the uh, with last episode of Total Eclipse, which you should go watch. Go watch that series. Go watch the entire thing. It's only 33 episodes. Uh, but, you know, for, for first episode, uh... uh you know, that, that, that's getting a little long in the two. Also, you know, like I said, I, I just woke up, so I need to get some fucking hungry. I don't want to get, I don't want to get, uh, you know, running on fumes and start, like, hallucinating. You now, they'll probably make for some entertaining commentary, but, uh, the quality of the content might, uh, might drop just a smidge. Just, just a little bit. Are we, are we stuck here in the credits? We are. Nice. But yeah. Uh, ooh, what's gonna happen next? Ooh, I, I can't say. I don't know. No, no. Can't skip. Can't skip. Door stuck. Door stuck. But yeah, I don't really have much more to say. You know, I'm, I'm real bad when I get stuck in these credit reels like this. Especially when I can't skip. I can't fast forward. Cause no, I. I'm just a constant stream of consciousness, so I pretty much say what I'm thinking, as I think it. So, you know, when I get get to these points where it's time to reflect, it's kind of like, uh, reset everything. So I'm just stuck. Stuck here. You're stuck in here with me. And I'm stuck here trying to fill this this space so it's not just entirely dead air. Uh, what do we want to talk about? Uh, uh, I, work. Work was cool yesterday. Uh, I got to see a bunch of cruise missiles. That was that was cool. Don't ask where they're going. I'm not telling you. Uh, but yeah, not not every day to go over there to see the, see the fun stuff. Yeah, these 12-hour shifts, fucking brutal, bro. Especially after you know vacation. No, I'm I'm used to like being up for like three four hours and be like ah, I'm gonna go back to bed for like five more hours, and then like going to work and them telling me like all right. You're gonna be here for 12 hours. It's like, fuck, dude. Fortunately, like, only a couple of those hours are actually spent working. The rest of it's just sitting around, either, uh, either you know, making uh, making sure all the records and like everything matches up, you know, for what we actually did. And then like the rest of it's just sitting around playing on my phone, doing nothing. Usually, I'm just like fucking reading, drinking coffee, you know, the usual, the usual things. Are we at the end yet? Okay, cool, cool. We're at, we're, at, we're at, like, the production stuff. Nice, nice! We'll, we'll, uh, we'll at least read the little, uh, the little message there for episode two. I didn't read it for the first episode. So, uh, mainly because, uh, I had read it to myself when I was, uh, trying to balance the audio levels, which... If you remember in episode one, uh, it didn't stick because I wasn't running the game as administrator. And visual novels are weird sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes you need to. Oh, hey, Beatrice, what's up? Why isn't it quotes? Why isn't it quotes? 
そして人間の身の程を知るがいい我が千年を人間どもが気づいたとかいう百年で立ち打ちできるか試してみるがいい It's 84, so we've been over this. They have the Famicom. You wanna, you wanna play Super Mario Brothers 2? So, t h e y go so. Oh, my, you could book us at a tano shimming a mask to you, mono you. So, Kiko Batora to Yara Maria no Tegami wa Rokuni no Koroskata wa Shatta wa Resito no Fui wa Che no m i s w e l l we'll need to, you know. Rack the brains of some smarter people than us. No boy, I see. Genji that's in a cacumawa. That's he no jisatsua. He wouldn't know Nazoa. Taxareta Ogon no Arikawa. So, Batora Toyara. Ningen no Tsukara, Missete Murao de a Nike. Let's ask、uh, Kyrie when we get back. She seems pretty smart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fucking yuck it up. <laughs> Bang. Episode 1 Tea Party. Ooh, new elements who has been added. What? Question mark. Ooh. Ooh. Well, let's, let's see what that is. What the fuck is this? Welcome to the tea party of the unhuman. More! There's more! Well, I guess we'll do this too. I don't mind doubling up on this. As long as it, you know, stops me from continuing going down into the story, or if it's short. Well, this is the conference room! ここのありとあらゆる名茶を披露しよう。おう、へい。梅干し紅茶。梅干しが一パック二百円のやつ。パックにパー、マダファーカー。千年紅茶をたしなんだが、そのようなものは知らない。つくづくこの世は生き飽きぬものよ。レアと。そんなにも敵意をむき出しにしなくてもいいわ私は単なる旅の魔女あなたの領地のルールを犯しに来たつもりはないわ<笑> well, I guess this is where we're gonna get introduced to you know these characters 伝説の魔女ベルンカステル教に粗相がないか気が気でならぬだけ Characters please Uh, yep.、Yeah. Mark Castell, the Witch of Fragments, who has lived for a thousand years, has said that she lives in a world where concepts like fate and possibility can be made visible, observes the fate of humans, and sometimes interferes. In other words, sometimes she is you and is also your only friend. Understand? No! She likes wine and spicy foods, hates boredom, and those who never learn. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Nice tail. Well, makes me think of、uh, <clears throat> another character, but、uh, who, who knows how much that is just reference and how much is,、uh, you know, supposed to you know,、uh, be, be leading you in the direction to think about her origin. I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess the manga goes into a little more. A little more fleshed out on that, but I don't know if that's considered like fully canon or that's kind of like more in the fanfic direction. Almost like the Tsukihime manga. Like that, that, that does its own thing, but it's also really good, so I don't mind considering some of the stuff that does, you know, quote unquote canon. Anata no yona, Hitori o Hyaku Koro so soro shi chikara o motta majo no mai ni, matta ku no muryoku. So no muryoku na majo do no. Hmm. 
ラムダデルタ教はそうは言ってなかったのよ<笑>過ぎた喧騒はかえって醜くもある Yes, time she just need to take the W Teleporting around, so to see Chikara Motu. Hitorio, Kanarazu Korosu Chikara. Chikashi Kono Yoni, Kanarazu was on the shin. Bit of a bit of paradox there. Chio Ikura Waroto, Keshte Zero Niva de Kino Yoni. Sore Kagirina could zero in Chikazuki. Kagirina could zet Taiwo Midas Chikara. Okay, so it's like ninety nine point nine to infinity, but you know, there's still the point zero, whatever, one chance. Scassi Sonata, zero de nai cani, Canarazu Georgi Saturu, Conoyoni, Canarazu, a sonsai shinaito no tama, Kyo Goji singer, Canarazu no chikarao, mochi de orare, O Soroshi, O Soroshi. ひとりは無限に殺す力。ブルー。私は。あなたの方が恐ろしいけれど。強情だ。その他から見れば、こんなのは様々な力。褒めても何も出ぬとはまさにこの。政治は。I'm I'm looking for some flattery will get <sighs> fragments. Yeah, word is on the on the magic internet. You're getting up to some bullshit. Yeah, what do you think around one? ラムダデルタ。とても残酷で恐ろしいけれど、理解できる子だ。あなたは一見、慈しみがあるけれど、まあ、理解。Beatrice is a bit of an X factor at the moment. だから、あの子よりずっと恐ろしい。気まぐれなのは我が勝。許すがいい。Oh, we all gamblers here? Fuck yeah, let's go. Roll them bones. Roll あなたの期待を裏切らない。サイコロが何の目を見せようとも必ずあなたは満足する。その意味において、あなたは私を遥かに凌駕する。あなたとだけは戦いたくないわ。あなたの中にゼロしかない。だから私の力では、あなたから
あなたも厄介なのに好かれたようね力を貸してあげたいのは山々だけれど聞いての通り、うん、んあの子の力と私の力では相性が悪いお会いに行くねベリーでもさすがに気の毒だから少しだけ力を貸してあげる Thank you. Yeah, give, us, give us the deets. Beatrice to you, Nano Sonza, you want the Irukido. Dakara to it, so ever. Each cotai no Jose to a Kagira. Uh, okay. Imiga Waka. No. The Mari. Areva Ningen no Dareka Jan. Honoseka no Luruga, Gijinka Sta Sonza da to you. Uh, okay. あの子を倒すにはこの世界のルールを暴きそれを解きほぐさなければならない All right, cool. それは例えるならルールを知らないチェスを観戦しながら学んでいくようなものまずはチェス盤を見渡しなさいそして駒の動きと役割に気づきなさい Yeah, but then there's weird shit like castling that you probably won't get just from like Looking, it's not, it's not an obvious thing that like jumps out, jumps out at you. So, so、oh, there's, there's weird rules to the game that aren't very obvious, so it's gonna be tricky. So, nice, then we can attack her weak point for massive damage. Or maybe steal it. あなたを閉じ込める赤狼を掘り抜き魔女の目玉をえぐるべきものもちろん永遠の赤狼の中で水のようなスープを延々とすすり続けるのにも使えるだろうけど勘違いしないでほしいのは私はあなたの味方のつもりはないと言う yeah, just us a あなたに感情移入はするけれどあなたの手助けはしない Uh, you know, the battle feels a little too uneven. I don't know. 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 Well, unless it's a call and invent, then you, you can, but. No. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. So, you're just a freeloader. Just gonna, just gonna stir the pot a little bit. Add a little spice. Or, like, All witches just naturally doms? Thank you. New game board has been added. New episode has been unlocked. New elements、uh, may be accessed from the title screen. Got so many elements. Make it stop. Ooh. Beesh. Characters? Episode one? Is this just the character screen? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. 
Human side. Switch side. Hit execute. Hmm. So we can try to kill them. It's futile for a human like yourself to dream of killing me. Even if you fire bullets at me, they will merely bounce back as though by a mirror and strike you down. However, there's a single way to kill me. You grasp this method in the palm of your hand. I doubt a mediocre fool like you could ever do it, of course. Hee 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 hee. Cackle, cackle, cackle. Bunch of fragments. I'm scared to hit it. By continuing to think, I live on for all eternity. In other words, if I stop thinking, I can die at any time. However, I can revive whenever I want if I start thinking again. So I'm fickle and inconsistent. I live as I like, die as I like, revive as I like. Okay. So I guess that's just, uh, you know, hit it, you know, they die, spot. Cool. All right, neat. So that's that. Tips? What new tips we got? Episode one? Okay, it's just, uh, just this stuff. A sawed-off rifle Kinzo spec. A sawed-off cut barrel custom version of a certain rifle, which was, po which was a popular bestseller during the Wild West. The modification dramatically increases the portability and the old-school charm in exchange for a devastating drop in range. In addition, consecutive so shots can be fired as quickly as a pistol if one works the lever action skillfully enough. Furthermore, the one-handed reload made possible by its characteristic lever-action handle should be irresistible to any true lover of old westerns. Uh, to match with Kinzo's personal preference, it is made to handle uh, 45 long-cut bullets. Uh, the gun holds 4 plus 1 shots, so 4 in the tube, 1 in the chamber. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Which is score sheet? Uh, died. Okay, that's... That's the, what we saw there at the credits last time. Uh, seven stakes of purgatory. Stakes containing the seven magic that represent the seven deadly sins. They bury into the desired location on the, on the target with unparalleled accuracy following the user's orders. Since they flit about at ultra high speeds and change their trajectories freely by bouncing off the walls and the like, they have no blind spots and will hit their targets without fail no matter what form or of cover they might be hiding behind. Additionally, their power can be attuned to the part of the body that the state uh, ooh, the ooh, that will be tuned to the part of the body they will strike. What does that mean? Extremely powerful as weapons, but they cannot target pure people who have not committed one of the seven deadly sins. Or those who have a strong resistance to magical powers. Okay, so battlers invulnerable to them. Hmm, interesting. 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 Grimoire, any updates in here? Uh, no. Well then, with that stuff all done, uh, next time we will reconvene for episode two, uh, which, let's, let's just read the little, little preamble we got here. Uh, good morning, the Golden Witch has been waiting impatiently for you. Please take your seat opposite her at the table. Have you rested well and deliberated over how you will play? The witch has high expectations of you and is determined to come at you right from the opening. I, too, am looking forward to observing your moves. Alright, so this narrator is different from the witch. <laughs> uh, well, Beatrice. Difficulty level is first rate. The witch plans to make you surrender in an instant. Alright, so fucking coming with a straight punch to the jaw to knock us down like as soon as the round starts. Well then, we will deal with that next time. See you guys then. Later. Bye. Yeah.